This Jan. 27. 2018 photo. A poster of the Michigan State women's gymnastics team is displayed during a meet in East Lansing. Mish. The gymnastics team is trying to move on from the Larry Nasser scandal. The school's disgraced former sports doctor is facing the rest of his life in prison for molesting girls and young women. The gymnasts left behind are trying to move on with their competitions while honoring the survivors. Larry Lage, Associated Press. East Lansing. Mish. The gymnasts danced like no one was watching. A joyous circle of pink-clad young women celebrating a meet with their teammates. In truth. All eyes seem to be on Michigan State in these troubled days. There are sharp questions for football coach Mark D'Antonio and basketball coach Tom Izzo about allegations of sexual misconduct by their players over the years. But above all, there is Larry Nasser, the disgraced former sports doctor who is facing the rest of his life in prison for molesting girls and young women under the guise of treatment. Nasser ISNT associated with football or basketball. He stands accused of abusing mostly young gymnasts. Some of them stars for Team USA. And he will forever be tied to Michigan State his former employer. But on this night, the Spartans tried to celebrate a feel-good moment on a campus in desperate need of one. I know everyone sees Larry Nasser and they think of Michigan State gymnastics. Said Sidney Ewing. The only recruit to sign with the program in November during the early signing period. But the girls didn't do anything wrong. I think supporting them right now is the best thing they need to get through this. The gymnasts left behind are trying to move on with their competitions while honoring the victims. Some of whom may be on the team of Nasser's abuse. In front of a record crowd for a quad meet at Jenison Field House where Magic Johnson played basketball four decades ago. The Spartans had a season-high score to beat Eastern Michigan. Rutgers and Pittsburgh. Lee Mitchell, who won the all-around for the second time in three meets, put on a show. Her teammates along with two. 844 fans in the stands did. Two. The crowd, which was about three times larger than usual. Included Michigan State athletes from other sports. Mitchell sprinted down a blue runway. Launched off a springboard onto the vault. Did a flipping twist. Landed on her feet and threw her hands in the air. The freshman was immediately encircled by high-fiving teammates as the fans roared. Mitchell and her teammates could have bolted by now because of the Nasser scandal. No one would have blamed them. The NCAA has indicated it may investigate the athletic department. And the Michigan Attorney General will press ahead with an investigation of the university. We can't run, said Mitchell, who is from Boynton Beach, Florida. We have to stay together and change the culture. It has to start somewhere. Missed opportunities to possibly stop Nasser abound. Larissa Boyce said she and a fellow teenage teammate, both training with the Spartans youth gymnastics team, complained about him in 1997 to head gymnastics coach Kathy Clages. She retired a year ago, one day after being suspended for what former athletic director Mark Hollis described as her passionate defense of Nasser. Some athletes suggested Clages indirectly discouraged them from reporting abuse with her outspoken support of Nasser. Clages has not responded to requests seeking comment. Mike Rowe, who was a Michigan State assistant the previous three seasons, was promoted in July to guide the program through a storm. We've been working really hard on focus. Keeping our eyes on not being distracted and letting any kind outside influences affect the performance, said Rowe, who like the team's gymnasts, 
wore a teal ribbon last weekend to raise awareness about sexual violence. In the gym every day. It's kind of our solitude. It's kind of our place of peace. In the same building where Nasser carried out some of his crimes. The team has had the same athletic trainer. Destiny Teachner Hawk. For two decades. She reportedly received at least one complaint about Nasser from a softball player two decades ago. But Teachner Hawk told the FBI and campus police during an investigation she never had athletes tell her Nasser made them uncomfortable. Teachner Hawk also said she was aware of Nasser treating one gymnast at his home. But it did not raise any red flags for her. Teachner Hawk declined comment for this story through a school spokesman. The crisis on campus has led to Lou Anna Simon resigning as school president and Hollis retiring. Rowe said he hopes the women he coaches don't lose the athletic trainer they love to the world and back too. They probably would be devastated if she had to be replaced or go somewhere else. Rowe said. Jessica Ling a junior on the team. Agreed. Destiny is a one-of-a-kind person and she honestly cares about all of us 100%. Ling said. She's like our second mom. She has helped me personally immensely in my recovery to come back. From knee surgeries. And I couldn't have done it without her. Ewing made the trip from Texas to watch the Spartans compete and to visit campus again with her. Father. Steve Ewing, who insisted he has no fear of sending his daughter to Michigan State to be a gymnast and student. I'm not scared. He said. This is going to be the cleanest, safest program in the country. It's going to be squeaky clean. They got rid of the bad element that is no longer here. Underscore underscore underscore. Follow Larry Lage on Twitter at http. Twitter com, Laralage. Copyright 2018, The Associated Press. All rights reserved. This material may not be published. Broadcast. Rewritten or redistributed.